Greetings and welcome back to Shondo RC. Uh, today we're going to be talking about setting up special functions on your aircraft. Um, today in specific we're going to be setting up a special function to do a throttle cut. So, you know, if you happen to be working on your airplane and it's got battery power going to it or you happen to land your airplane and you're walking it back to the bench, uh, we can set up a safety fit feature through special functions that in the event that you inadvertently hit the throttle by mistake, um, your prop isn't going to start up and cut you to pieces. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. It's fairly simple. Um, let's get right to it. Pretty simple to do. Today we're doing it on the E-Flight Timber. So what we'll do is we'll go to Model Settings. We're going to scroll over to Special Functions. Just keep paging over till you see Special Functions. Okay, there it is, special functions. Uh, I don't have any special functions set up on this aircraft, so now we're gonna do it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and set up the first one is the one we're gonna do to cut the throttle. So we're gonna hit enter, and it's gonna bring us over to the three dotted lines. You're gonna hit enter again, and they're gonna start blinking. Now what this is, is this is the spot that you're going to assign the switch that you wanna use to activate your special function. In my specific instance, I like to use this switch right here, this top one, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to the middle. And when I set it to the middle, it's going to automatically select where it's blinking uh, the middle position of that switch to cut my throttle. So I'm going to hit enter again, and I'm going to scroll over here, and here's what I can set that switch to do. I can set it to set fail safe. Play a sound, play a track, like if you happen to have music or something on your SD card, you can select the track, and uh, when you flip that switch to the middle, it'll play the track. You can play a value, uh, lose scripts, all kinds of things you can do with this thing. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to get it to um, override a specific channel. So there's our override. We're going to hit enter. Then we're going to scroll over and select the channel we want to override. Now in my case, my channel that my throttle is set to is channel 3. So we're going to hit channel 3. Now when that switch is in that middle position, where do we want that weight to be? Well right now they've got it to zero. Well my throttle, if you look on my mixer page, is set to 100 positive. So opposite of 100 positive is going to be 100 negative. So 100 negative is all the way down, 100 positive is all the way up. So we want the throttle to shut off if that switch happens to be in the middle position. So I'll go ahead and I'll set this to negative 100. Hit enter. And then I'm going to scroll over to this little checkbox thing over here on the right hand side. And I'm going to hit enter again. And it's going to check that box, which means now that special function is activated. Okay, so now it has been programmed and set up in that radio so that anytime I've got this switch in the middle position, my throttle is not going to work. It's only going to work if it's in the up or in the bottom position. But for safety reasons as well, I want to also set that same function up when it's at the bottom as well. I don't want my throttle to turn on unless that switch is all the way up. So to do that, what I do is we'll go ahead and um, select our second special function, hit enter, and we're gonna hit enter again to get it blinking, and I'll throw my switch all the way down. Now my SA with the arrow pointing down means switch all the way down, is going to override channel and we're going to set that channel to three again then we're going to go over here to the weight and we're going to go to negative 100 as well now this is just for throttle that's all we're setting up today we're going to hit enter we're going to scroll over to the box on the right hand side we're going to hit enter again to highlight the box now, what that's saying is both of those special functions are now activated within this model in this radio. So anytime that my switch up here in the upper left-hand corner is down or in the middle, my throttle will not work. My throttle will only work when the switch is all the way up to the top. 
So let's test it and let's see. Let's go ahead and back out of this page. I'm going to go ahead and connect battery power to the aircraft. And my switch is all the way up on the left hand side so we can see that my throttle will work. I don't want to turn it all the way on because it's kind of scary. So, But you can see how the throttle turns. Okay, so with the switch all the way up, my throttle works. Now if I put my switch in the middle position, I have no throttle. See me moving my throttle? I have no throttle on an aircraft. If I put it in the bottom position, I have no throttle. I only have throttle when I'm in the up position. And that's it. That's pretty much how you set up special functions. Uh, there's another cool special function in there I would like to tell you, especially if you're a newbie pilot, that I think you need to know. Uh, this radio with OpenTX has a fantastic little function in it called Instant Trim. And the way that this works is if you're up there and you happen to be flying your airplane and say it's a maiden flight and your airplane is way out of trim you know to where you're like really really having to hold the sticks a whole lot you know in a certain position to get it to fly level you know when that happens especially if you're a new pilot you can't just take your hands off the sticks to move a trim switch to get it trimmed because uh, so sometimes you're fighting to keep that aircraft to fly level well, there's a feature that that special functions has that's really cool, and it's called instant trim. Let me show you how to get to that. Go back over to special functions. Let me go ahead and unpower my airplane first. But you go over to special functions, and you're going to scroll down to a spot that's not being used, and you're going to hit the enter button. You're going to scroll over to the switch, and what I like to use for instant trim is your spring switch. It's the one up here in the back upper right. Just flip that switch, and it will change on the screen. It selected it. Now, what you want to do in that case is go ahead and hit enter, and you're going to scroll over to where it says override. You're going to hit enter again, and you're going to scroll it to where it says instant trim. Hit enter, then you're going to scroll to the box that's all the way over on the right hand side and highlight it. Now you've activated that specific function for that radio. Now how instant trim works is this. When you're flying your airplane and you're having to hold the sticks in kind of a, a weird or an excessive area to be able to get that thing to fly straight, you can't take your hands off of it to hit your trim switches, you can hold them there. And while you're holding them there, at the same time of holding them to get it to fly straight, you can reach up here with your finger, if you're holding your sticks, and you can just bounce that switch one time. And as soon as you bounce that switch, immediately let go of your sticks. And your airplane will be trimmed where you were holding those sticks. So it'll fly either where it was that you were trying to keep it level at or very close to it, allowing it to be much more controllable to let go of those sticks and fine tune your trim from there. So that's a pretty cool little feature there. Um, it's called instant trim. You get in trouble and you've got to force some sticks and you can't take your fingers off the sticks, reach up there with your index finger, bounce that switch real quick, instantly let go of those sticks and you'll be trimmed to that position you were holding those sticks at. That's awesome. However, what you do need to know is this. In a previous video, I showed you a feature concerning reversing channels, if you remember that. A lot of people, to reverse channels, they've been, instead of using positive numbers in Mixer, if the channel was backwards, they would change it to a negative. If you do that, Instant Trim is going to get you in trouble because it's going to trim in the opposite direction of what you're holding those sticks. So you're going to be in trouble. What you want to do is you want to make absolutely sure that if any of your control surfaces are backwards when you are setting up an aircraft, you do not reverse those numbers to negative. 
you want to go over here. You want to go to these pages here, I'll show you. Where it says outputs. And whatever channel is backwards, you want to select that channel and you want to scroll over to this last arrow that you see over here that I've got highlighted and you just hit your enter button and that arrow will change directions. Then it reverses your servo to fly in the opposite or to move in the opposite direction that it was moving in without having to change from positive to negative in mixer. That's exactly what you want to do to do this. Uh, as long as you set up all your airplanes uh, doing it this way, reversing your servos on this page, your Insta trim is going to work perfectly fine. And I will tell you this, that Insta trim when I first started flying has gotten me out of so many situations. I mean, I was flying airplanes sometimes that it was absolutely impossible to take your hands off those sticks to trim it with those little trim tabs. So the Insta trim, you know, allowed me to force the sticks to make the plane fly right and bounce that trim switch and instantly let go of those sticks. And I was trimmed where I was pushing those sticks to. So that's something just to keep in mind. Just make it sure absolutely that you set your servos up properly from this page, not your mixer page. You know, you only use the mixer page for your weights. Don't use it for reversing unless you're doing mixing. You can go ahead and reverse your stuff for mixing, of course, because, you know, that has no bearing on your trims. But the actual inputs themselves, you know, on your mixer page, they must always be in the positive form all the time. You do all your reversing from this page. Um, I hope you learned something here. Special functions is pretty cool. There's various other things you can set up on it. Um, you can set up your volume. Like I, I set up all my volume on my aircrafts. Um, when I set up a special function, I set it to volume on and I set it to this left slider so I can turn it up and down, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. So just kind of play around with it and see what you like. But you learned how to set up a safety feature, which was your throttle. And I, I would suggest you do that pretty much on all your aircraft. And uh, that's about it concerning that. If you liked what you saw, hit like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.